Question 15. PQR and PTS are straight lines. Angle PTQ is the same as angle PSR and they're both 90 degrees. QT is 4 centimeters long, RS is 12 centimeters long and TS is 10 centimeters. Question A asks us to work out the area of the trapezium QRST and the formula for area of the trapezium is given in the front of your formula book as a half A plus B times H where A and B are the parallel sides. We're given all of these lengths so it's a case of just using this formula to find out what the area is. So we have half multiplied by our two parallel sides added together, so that's 4 add 12, multiplied by the height, which is 10. 4 add 12 is 16, a half of 16 is 8, 8 times 10 is 80 centimetres squared. Part B is a little bit trickier. It asks us to work out the length of PT so the length of this smaller triangle on the left. Now because all the angles are the same, both triangles share this angle, they're both right angled triangles, they're both similar. Therefore the larger size triangle is just an enlargement of the smaller one. So we can see from looking at this right hand edge that the larger triangle is three times bigger. We have a scale factor of 3 because if we multiply 4 by 3 we would get 12 which means that PT is a third of the size so PT is equal to a third of P to S now we know that T to S is 10 centimeters and PT to S must be the remaining two-thirds of our line PS. So if 10 is equal to two-thirds of PS, then one-third must be half of this value. Therefore, PT is equal to 5 centimetres. That would make the entire triangle from P to S 15 centimetres long, which is three times bigger than this. So once again, that matches our scale factor.